Usual suspects, welcome to another episode of the Monday Mid Soul, and tonight we're talking about sneaker nicknames. Bread, black cement, does it matter? Should it matter? Nike just got a patent for crypto kicks, changing the way you buy sneakers or making it even harder. And a recap of responsibilities within the culture. That and more. Grab your seats. It's the Monday Mid Soul. Yo, it's Monday, and welcome to the Mid Soul. I am your co-host, Buckeye City Soul, and I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to the old man. What's good? It's your boy Polos and Jays, the OG Jay Walker, People's Gramp. Ready to kick it off live tonight on Monday with my fellas. With that, I'm going to pass it over to my light skin friend. You, what's going on? Usual suspects. It's your boy, Molly Maul, a.k.a. I didn't cop another one. Leader of the light skin legion. We got a great show ahead of you. Man, let's get it. Let's get, that. Let's get the energy up, all right? Yeah, leader of the light skin. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. All right, shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, we are without uh, Mo know. today. Mo is uh, taking care of things. I don't know. Um Man. But um, Man down. we will uh, we will try to put on the best show we know how. Um, so we're gonna get right into what's in the box. Let's get right into it. Who's in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my son. Oh, uh, what's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? Sponsored by the Container Store, and this is where we talk about uh, our latest pickups, and uh, then we get into what's coming out this week. And uh, first, who wants to go first? Well, as you can I, see, my box is empty. There is nothing in my box this week. I have no pickups. Boy, well, damn. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go. Um, so, my pickup of the week. What's in the box sponsored by the Container Store is the Curry 6 United We Win. So this was a follow-up from a a story that we covered. Um, The nine-year-old, Ryan Morrison, wrote to Steph saying that there were no girl shoes on the website. In response, they collaborated with her. They let her design her shoe. So the sock liner, which doesn't come out, but has a bunch of different caricatures and saying and such. They dropped this May 29th on Women's Day. Uh, in women's slash girls sizing on the website, part of the cur- uh, the Under Armour icon, which is the equivalent to like the Nike ID. So here it is. So Women's Day Moment is May 29th. I didn't know that. That's my birthday. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not a bad. It's not a bad shoe. It's not bad. Did it, did it have it in red too? I <laughs> uh, know the the colorway was actually like that's the whole purpose of it. Uh, it's her color. <laughs> yes, you can make it in red. Oh, you they have like an ID. Red. Yeah, you can do whatever you want on Icon. I've never, I've never. There's, there's an all red joint on there as well um, that released, which I have <laughs> somewhere. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't, know, didn't even know you had it. I'm going to show something that I got that I didn't show before. Um, and this is compliments of City Jeans. And it's something, it's nothing big or anything like that. But I, I like them. And. You know, I know a lot of people hated on them or whatever. If they had dropped in like, you know, 2013, 2012, they probably would have been a little bit more better received. Um, And then you got so much heat coming out. You got the Bread 4. You got, you know, all these other OGs that are, you know, kind of rumored. And we'll get into rumors later on. But um, these are the, what is these, Citron? And they've got another name too. And we're going to get into nicknames and things like that as well. But I just thought it was a clean, uh, it's a clean shoe. Um, it's not bad. You can't beat free ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, no. So you know, Ford's my favorite. So um, shout out to City Jeans. Uh, definitely appreciate them. Um, you know, having our backs and things like that, and sponsoring the show as well. Um, but yeah, shout out to City Jeans. And old oh man, you over there drinking your uh, your vinegar cider? Uh, are you are you are you prepared? 
I'm always prepared. All right, well, let me know. Hold on. You know, I just got this. <laughs> so, hold on. I just got to pull it up. Uh, pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> All right. All right. So, dropping tomorrow, April 30th, the Nike LeBron 16 remix. I, I like these. I like these, but I don't really care for the gold. And the way that my pockets are looking. <laughs> I, ain't gonna I like them it. initially, but uh, you know, again, I'm being I'm being disciplined. Right. So, you know, there are some other things this week that I I know I'm gonna get at least one or two of. So I will sacrifice that pair to double up on something that I know I love. What do you, well, what do you, what do you get one or two of? What are you getting one or two of? Four, four. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to worry. You already spent yours. Yeah, I got I got two. <laughs> I, want, I think yeah, I you got two. I gotta get. I gotta pick up four. Two for me and one for each kid. So, well, I'm gonna get one for Cameron, and then Kevin Junior said he wanted them, and then he was like, I don't know, and I'm like, nigga, you better hurry up and make your mind up. Uh. <laughs> All right, next we got the Adidas Night Jogger Active Blue, another Adidas Boost shoe that's dropping. I gotta. I don't know, man. Like. I don't have any motivation whatsoever to to try any of these. Hmm. Oh, then it looks like Nike is playing with this fly net again with the Nike Air Force One fly net 2.0 black pure platinum. I don't know why they keep giving us this fly net stuff, but uh, you know, let's, fine. <laughs> let's see in the chat. What do you guys think? I mean, should they should they put Air Force Ones down for a little while? <laughs> like, should they like kind of build that up? I mean, I'm, I'm sick. Of Someone killed them on Twitter. Right, someone put out the uh, the rumor that they weren't gonna make any more. <laughs> That's what I heard too. So yeah. that wasn't that right. wasn't true. No, no, no. They came out and said that was just a rumor. Um, so they squashed that early. All right. Well, you got you got two other colorways coming out. There's the uh, the college navy, and then the pure platinum, both dropping on May first. Uh, also on May first, you got the Adidas Ultra Boost SNL White Blue. What's SNL and... stand for? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> 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 then on May 1st the Nike LeBron 3 Houston All-Star I'm going to say this now help your boy out this is the Houston Oilers colors that's my right. squad grew up watching going to I'm from H-Town they used to go to the show game with my dad that was our thing on the weekends go and watch the Oilers I was a huge Earl Campbell fan this is a shoe I got here. I don't even really like the LeBron three, but man, you put the Houston all the colors on it. It's a must have. And I know y'all are both going for it as well. I, of course, I, I like the colorway a lot, but I'm starting to fall out of love with the LeBron three. Like I have, I got the, the Navy pair and I've got the Superman. And I'm like, honestly, legit look at them like, you know what? They're just going to sit here. They're going to sit here. I'm probably not going to wear them. They're Isn't like that boots. Mo shoes, though, at this point? What? Isn't that most shoes at this point? Uh, not all of them. Not all of them. These, something about it's the. It's a boot. It's a boot. I yeah. mean. And I can't, I can't, I can't hoop in these, I don't think. I might be able well, to. Not it's like wearing a phone posit or up tempo. It's just a big ass looking shoe on your foot. You I know, think I could hoop in the phone if I really wanted to. So there May first, one seventy five. Look out for your boy. I need Molly him. Mall. That I want him. Look out for your boy. Mark Molly Mall. Mall can come second. Molly Mall. It's all about H Town. Y'all know how. Molly Mall. So we ain't thinking <laughs> about Mall right now. I'm just gonna <laughs> get it. I'm just, I'm just gonna get it just because y'all want it. I'm gonna get them regardless. I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow. Where are you getting them at tomorrow, huh? I mean, we live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let me on the side. Then. <laughs> then we got a couple of reacts that are dropping. I think we're getting way too many of these now. I what mean, some of the colorways uh, are dope. That was that a con? Was that concept? The I six, still only want the one. The, uh, the original one the that came original, out. Outside yeah. of that, yeah, outside of that, I don't really care for any of these mock-up colorways. Yeah, the original was dope, and I, I think after that, they probably thought that, hey, we we, we kind of wave here. And, the Nike's know. version of the NMDs, bro. 
basically. I'm done. Yeah, they should have just they should have kept it to a few, but I guess you you know you want to yeah. sell as much as you can. So let's go ahead and kill it. And another silhouette they're killing is the Vapor Max. You got the Vapor Max Three Bright Mango, and then you got the Vapor Max Three Oreo. I'm just not, I'm just not a Vapor Max dude. I just nah. yeah, they look too they're, they're too slim of a shoe. I think they look like a track cleat. Like when I like I have one pair, and I feel like you know my feet look like when I ran track way back when, back in the day. When, when, when I was, was what, you like ten or eleven or something back then? Nah. Like six. I used to run a, yeah. a, a ten something in the hundred. <laughs> yeah. So back when Kev was all muscle, he got that one picture in the newspaper. We just dieseled out. Right. Man, I, you know, but you know, I Kev, Kev does Photoshop, so that might not even. Be <laughs> Man, back then they had Photoshop. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop a picture of you next to Harriet Tubman. <laughs> it's not you don't Photoshop, it's real. That was my homie. I, I might have you don't got a photo photo photo. Photo. Yeah, I used to hang out, around the, hang out around the <laughs> fire. She used to pass out and wake up like, what's happening? Uh, so then you got Adidas Young 96 Black Carbon. The Adidas Y3 Runner 4D White. Let me pull this up because I know we got some Adidas and some Runner fans in the chat. Nate, they, they're going to want to see this, but... I'm, I'm not a fan of that 4D. It looks like a basket. I don't hate those. I would never purchase them. But looking at the design, like, I don't hate those. Them look I mean, like the some Cousin Eddie's. Good. Like, you know, Cousin Eddie on National Lampoons. Is that his name? Cousin Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Clark, not I got me. you. Clark, I got you these shoes here. I've seen you eyeballing them, so I got you a pair just like it. Like, uh. <laughs> now, if it was a different color, well, it might look a little better, but. I can't do it. I can't do that white sand white. basket white. <laughs> yeah. There's too much going on there. <laughs> Cousin Eddie. <laughs> All right. So we're going to drop down to this KD12, the 90s, the kid. Get him. That's something you're going at the mall? Nah. I'm good. Yeah. I do want to. I do want to try a pair out to hoop in just to see what they're like. But yeah, I don't want to like, pay full uh, price for them. You're still playing. You're still playing at least once a week. Like I, I'm hooping so sporadically. It doesn't make sense for me to get a, a, a shoe to hoop in. Yeah, I got enough of those. So, and then the thing yeah, about the I KD want, that, keep them. that made everybody purchase those was the price. And it seems like the, every year the price is going up a little bit more. And... Nah, price has been consistent lately. It's what been, are these? Like that, that 150. Yeah, that 150. But didn't he start like at 110 or 120? I mean, you're talking about like the four. They started at like close, 95 bucks. You're getting close to the LeBron range at 150, and it's just, if if you walk into the store and I see a, a KD and I see a LeBron, of course, I'm going to jump on the LeBron for $30 well, more. That's because they brought the price point of the LeBron down. Yeah. But yeah. He, he KD hasn't had a price increase in a while. Yeah, he needs to come down a little bit. And, of course, this one doesn't pull up the University Red. Does not open up. There it is. Ha ha. That ain't bad. That was not bad. Yeah. No, they're not. not. I think they should have went with a black midsole. A black midsole. I think it would have been yeah. better because I think that that white is gonna be like like yellow and looks. But silly. it looks like it's got some type of rubber covering up that white part. So it that's what not, I'm saying. That's the part I, I think is know. gonna be discolored. Yeah. Like that, maybe that so. clear. Like so, if it was black, you wouldn't be able to see it as much. Right, that's Except true. Except for on the toe box. That's true. That's true. And you got another Jordan 33 low coming out. The black cement. I actually like these. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. It's not bad. And maybe it's, it's just because bad. it's got that, that Jordan, you know, black cement 3 vibe to it. Um, But it's actually not bad. But these things are insane to get your foot in. I don't know if, this, if the... The low tops are any easier, but I think it's a clean shoe, actually. Almost like that laser tag back in the day. Remember laser tag where you had, like, the silver thing in the helmet? You ain't never had that? You just threw rocks at people. <laughs> we had swing shots. We had swing shots. Spears. He was running around like Dennis the Menace. He had catapults and shit, like, on Game he of Thrones. He had a catapult. Damn. He was killing white walkers <laughs> and everything. You white 175? This 160. I think it would have been doper, man, if they would have went with, with a cement toe box on there. I mean, that would have set it out. That would have made people yeah. probably look at it differently. Yeah, or they could have put the uh, elephant print on the back. would have been dope. Yeah. That would have been nice. Hey. 
don't know. All right, if then I you catch got some joints on sale. I'm like, do it. You got a Nike Blazer Mid 77 Vintage City Pride. I don't know what this shoe is all about, but. Man, they look like ghost ads. Yeah, they, they not. Those look like what I remember, like what an airship, like like a blank airship, like weird. I don't know. That's the way basketball shoes looked back in the early 80s, man. I mean, this is kind of the look of those shoes that everybody wore before the Jordan became what it was. I don't know. The more yeah. I look at, like, like I was looking at MJO's uh, Instagram today, and I talked to him today. And I don't know about them air fit their airships, man. Those are just conversation piece. I couldn't rock those mm-hmm. things. Them things, them things, wild boy. Before we get to the shoe of the week, let's look at this Adidas Next Level Cream White. What I wonder if that's comfortable to ball in though. Like the, the colorway is trash. Or not good. I'm trying, mm-hmm. to, I'm trying to change, you know, my my trash. Yeah, I, I hate saying trash because somebody might love it. Yeah, so <laughs> like I don't like the colorway um, for a basketball shoe. Like you can probably put it on something else, it might be all right. But for basketball, it looks like it, like timid. You know what I'm saying? Like it looked like a like a soft player. You know, like can't do nothing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like somebody you ain't really afraid uh, of. It looks like something Tim, Tim, Tim Duncan would wear. Oh lord! I look like somebody. There's somebody at the end Ken of the Loki bench. He had some dope kicks though. He did. He did. Some, some were kind of like boring, you know. Yeah. But he was a boring dude. He was just. He was. That's why I said that shoe would fit him. And last but not least, we got two. There's two. There's a flight positive. There's there's a flight positive. The flight positive hard. Toe pause. Yeah, pause. yeah. You want to look at that? It's all right. It's got a little iridescent on it. It's Man, terrible. that is ugly. I think it's dope. You, you know how you don't hoop. That's why you didn't. You didn't. I hoop. don't you care. Didn't back in the day, I did that, hoop back in the day. That would look dope. Now with these, now homie. Now with these. I think that I need to get an insole. Now now with these, no. no. Yeah, you wasn't. Yeah, you wasn't playing that. You was playing with Converse and Tonys. Converse, you right? You was wearing. You are absolutely right. Yeah, no yeah, ankle protection. Right. It's okay. Who that's had before, any back that's then? before they started was, jumping and cutting. Shoes. <laughs> there was no ankle protection. Y'all, y'all soft and shit. Y'all motherfuckers won't steal off. He's wearing moccasins. We was out there throwing bows. No protection. Oh, yeah? Y'all was going raw dog? Yeah, when well, he played ball, they had a peach <laughs> basket. <laughs> hey, who is this? Oh, uh, these are ugly, man. I'm sorry. Y'all can have them. Nah, he's straight, man. I just... Like I try, I got a pair of flight posits. I got a, um, one of my uh, city jeans things, and I tried to ball in them last week, and they burned the bottom of my feet up. Man, I think that it, maybe if I get some insoles, maybe that will, um, you know, make it clear, all right. Uh, yeah. But like, I can only right now, I can, to play in, I can only wear LeBron 15s and Jordan 31s. That's crazy. But to finish it off. We're going to the Air Jordan 4, the OG Bread, 2019, the, or the, you want to call it the Black Cement, whatever you want to call it. The OG mm-hmm. Jordan call 4 it. dropping yeah. this Saturday. Probably top three biggest shoe release of the year. Oh, yeah. Uh, For right now. Yeah. Get a date. Get a date. I mean, 11 is always. Year, it'll be top three. I think it nah. will be. I think it'll be top Maybe three. Maybe the most produced, most sold along those lines as far best. as numbers. In statistics, uh, but as as far as like sought after drops, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot more that's going to be coming well, out. Of that course, there's going to be stuff that's more sought after because they're going to be in small, very small numbers. Okay. But I mean, as far as something that that's going to be mass produced and everybody's going to want it, I mean, shit, everybody I know is buying two pair of them. You know what I'm saying? You don't get that. Yeah, but, yeah. People are. are I'm not I've seen two. people talk about tripling. I used to triple. Yeah, I mean, they're these days. And it's crazy when these came back, came out in '89. I mean, I was yeah, buying man. Jordan threes. I wasn't. I liked the shoe, but it wasn't just like it for me. I was still just like the Jordan three was my shit. I had the OGs, but I don't even think I would ever wore them, man, because I was rocking you them, them black, black cements all the time. But hey, it's a little nostalgia for you, and that's all we got. That is all, all we, we got. got. So. 
let's go ahead and get in right into the topics. If I can find them. <laughs> Welcome to the topic sponsored by City Jeans Premium as well as 8 and 9 Manufacturing Company. Um, I don't know if I have the, the, the code on there for uh, eight and nine, but uh, we are working on something where we can do um, a, a giveaway. I talked to uh, Figs you know, maybe a week ago, and we are going to do a giveaway with them. Um, and he wanted to do it continuously. So, you know, like I think we kind of talked about last week that we were going to do like just one big, one big winner a month. And you'll have, you know, what, you know, city jeans spin. You'll have the uh, the cases from the container store, and then you'll have eight nine. I think that's what we're gonna do. Is that what the that is that what we decided on? Oops. I'm I think here. that makes it easier. What do you think, Mom? Yeah. You know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's let's work out the logistics. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, figure we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we are going to do. Uh, we're gonna get back into the giveaways. We just wanna uh, make sure that we have all our ducks in a row. Uh, but uh, the first topic for today is uh, nicknames and how do you feel about them? Do they move you to get emotional? Um, you know, I've seen a lot of you know people talking about. I can't believe that Nike adopted bread and they put bread on their uh, marketing. And this picture here is directly from the sneakers app, um, so you can see that you know. These are the Air Jordan 4 breads. Um, and there's a lot of other nicknames, but this is the one that, you know, everybody's talking about. So let's go on on this one. We'll kind of spitball some stuff and see how long it goes. We want to get through three topics today. Who wants to go first? Well, I I'll go first. I've never cared about what people call it. You know, and I, I know that's one of the things that everybody always say. All the old school guys, they always complain about the names and I never gave a damn. I mean, when the Jordans were dropping back in the days, we didn't even number them. We called them, oh, that, the new Jordan is coming out. You know what I'm saying? The new black and red Jordan is coming out. That's how we That's how we described it. New black and white Jordan is coming out. So it was never any association with a name for me. And it's still to this day, whatever, whatever you want to call it, that's cool. You know, I mean, if it's bread, if it's black cement, it's still a shoe. We all know what you're talking about when you say it. Either way you say it, we all know exactly what you're talking about. So right. to put all these emotions and feelings on the name of a shoe, I don't get it. I mean, people have too many, I don't know, just emotional ties to a pair of shoes. And I have stories for mine, but at the end of the day, it's just a shoe, it's just a name. It's not gonna change what it looks like. It's not gonna change how you rock it. It's not gonna change how you feel about it. Just wear the shoe. That's how I feel too. And I see E, uh, he said, uh... That commercial is dumb, though. Did you guys see that commercial? You guys get a chance to take a look at it? I saw it, yeah. And I'll try to... I mean, I'll, 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 look I'll try to add a link in the um, in the description uh, <laughs> later on. Those are my but... favorite form of marketing, but... Uh, uh, I mean, let's tackle this, I guess. For certain shoes, like, I don't, I don't like that everything's a bread. Like, bread this, bread that. You know what I mean? Like, I do like there being some sort of... Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, like a name being somewhat sacred. Right? I like calling my threes black cement threes. I like calling my my elevens playoff elevens. Um, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, they're with with the Jordan brand. You know, they're going to appeal to the masses. So if to the masses this is known as a bread four, well, that's what they're going to market it as because they don't want to confuse people. There's also rumor and speculation about some of the you know like the legal issues. Uh, putting out the original name and, and colors and all that stuff, which is why, you know, certain remakes ha are slightly different. They have a different name, a different hue and everything else, um, you know, from, 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 from Jordan's you know, legal team and what he has to, to give to the ex-wife and things like that. So I got you. I mean, the fact of the matter is these are coming out. Everyone's going to get them. This particular shoe, I don't get too hung up on if it's called a bread. Like, if someone says I got the bread fours, I know exactly what they're talking about. Uh, if they say they got blacksmith fours, I know exactly what they're talking about. But I understand in some instances, 
where you know if this is a nickname that's been universally adopted or whatever the case may be that you kind of stick to that uh, and stop making up new things along the way whether it be through laziness or lack of knowledge or whatever the case may be uh my thoughts my thoughts on it are that like i don't have a problem what you call it. you can call it black array you can call it black cement you can call it bread the only pro- only time i have a problem is when somebody's trying to correct you you know like that's when i i have an issue because just like polo said you know there were no numbers it was just the jordans like oh you got the the blue and white ones that was military blue we didn't call it mil- military blue until i don't even remember when they started calling them that i just remember oh man them blue joints and you know and like i watched i watched uh mjo go live and talk about you know the commercial and you know i see i hear a lot of people that are you know all of a sudden there's a lot of purists and so many people are purists um, and I, I'd say that NJO is is a purist, even though he started collecting after I after I got into it. But still, he's he's a, a history guy. And I don't I, I wanted to like get a perspective, so I reached out to him. But I don't understand like how you know the outrage in the commercial where I thought that it hit it hit everybody. And if you're a if you're a loyalist, if you're a Jordan loyalist, you're gonna buy these shoes regardless. They got you. But what they're trying to do is connect the dots to 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 kids, to to hype beasts, and and the show, you know, show Jordan. You show they show the shot. They show like it appealed to me because they had like the little kid walking around with them, and you know what I'm saying. Like that hit that hit me being a an older person. But I mean, I, I still collect. But there's some people that you know, hey, maybe they didn't buy a they didn't they haven't been buying shoes, but hey. I remember these and I like these a lot and they're going to have the Nike ear on the back and you know I'm about to get these for my kid and maybe I'll get some for myself. Um I just thought that it, I thought it was dope actually and then you know when they try to compare the old commercial versus the new commercial I mean things are going to change man. Like I think that I I don't I I can't worry about that but I can't say that what they're worried about is frivolous because it means something to them. Right. And like, you know, when I, I reached out to MJO, you know, I mean, we agreed to disagree, but, you know, sometimes and I'm not saying I'm not saying him. And, you know, so I, I'm not I would never I'm not going to throw shade at him or anything. But I think that a lot of times people get like all up in arms about something. So they have something to say or so they are able to produce content. Because I saw people in his on his post saying Nike has ruined the sneaker game. Like how mm-hmm. how do you ruin the game when you created it? And people are still there's more people buying today than there was, you know, back when these originally came out. So, you know, is changing something ruining it? Nike doesn't even create these names for these shoes. I mean, these we started creating these names right. and then Nike piggyback off of that and started saying, "Okay, well, you know, the people who are wearing our shoes are giving them these names, so we're going to start giving them names." So, you know, we're the ones who are responsible. So why feel any type of way if we're the ones who given who are giving these shoes names? As I say that when they drop the Jordan, okay, we got the, the white and red or white and black, we got the black and red or black and white or whatever. And that's what they dropped. It wasn't it wasn't a name. They didn't give it a name. It was something that we were gonna see Jordan playing that shoe. We were gonna want it. We were gonna think we can fly. That's all it was to it. Right. It didn't have a name. That came along later. Like I said, when I walked into the store to buy a pair of Jordans back in the days on a Wednesday or Thursday, whatever day of the week that they used to drop back then, I walked in and I said, let me get the new Jordan. I didn't go in there and say, let me get the bread four. Right. Let me get the four. I said, let me get the new Jordan. And they knew exactly what I was talking about. You know, so again, these names came later on when I had grown up and was, you know, beyond that. So why why is there a problem with it now? It just, it, it makes no sense to me. You know, if you're a historian, okay, that's cool. You know, there's give the information that you know and just keep it moving. Right. Matza, he just said uh, the reality is JB can't keep using nostalgia. Us old heads will eventually stop buying. They have to cater to the new generation. And I be- and I agree with that. I right. felt that they kind of use something that like I-, I think what it is is like kids today don't have that. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you can focus on something for a long time attention span yeah the attention span is different for for kids now so i think that they played directly into it they went from one thing boom 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 where 
if you looked at MJO's other commercial, it was just basically Spike Lee, you know, holding the book. And these kids don't even know who Spike Lee is, honestly. A lot of them don't, just to be honest. Right, it's a different target audience. So, and that's why, you know, the brands will use different forms of marketing as opposed to just commercials or whatever the case may be. Certain, you know, celebrities, because they're trying to make sure that they reach a, a greater mass than just a collector, a hooper or whatever, you know, they want to yeah. try to hit all different facets, whether it's going to be fashion or, you know, some area that is an untapped resource because selling to the same group of folks isn't going to give you growth. It's going to give you sustainability. And the fact of the matter is Nike, Jordan brand, they want to grow. Right. Right. And I think that, I, I think that it was, it's good marketing. And you say that, you know, they're getting away from the culture. But if the culture created the name bread, then isn't that accepting right. the culture? And Nike doesn't care about the culture. They care right, about the right, product. right. You know, and that's 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 where we that's where we, you know, we're confused because people always say we're talking about the culture. We're the culture. What we do, how we react, you know, that's the culture. Nike is not the culture. Nike just puts out a shoe that they know people are gonna want. And, and they do ever I mean, hell, with this shoe, they don't even have to do any advertising. The shoe, ever, it sells itself, you know? Right. But we're the culture, mm -hmm. so we've got to stop looking at Nike and saying they're doing this to the culture because they honestly don't care about the culture. They care about the sales. They're making that almighty dollar. Right. So, you know, the culture is something we created, not Nike. Yeah, I mean, that's all. That's Anybody else got anything to, to go in on this one? Does anybody in the chat have anything that, that they want to... Uh get into with this one i just want to check something out real quick let's see here people have to keep up with the times company um this is from uh mike jenkins uh you have to keep up with the times companies uh, have to adjust or become obsolete like malls circuit city etc and you know i i wholeheartedly agree with it and just like i said i mean when i watched it you know i thought it was dope to see him play because you don't ever see mike play so I think that they needed to have that highlight. You know what right. I'm saying? Like it, I think if you look at it, like if you get really granular and you try to analyze, you know, hey, it's bread and bread. People have been rapping, you know, that play on words all the time, you know, and then it, nobody really gets into it. Oh, he said, hokey pokey, uh, okey smokey. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, we can't, we can't get that granular on shit like it's a dope shoe we're gonna get it and they're trying to do something here they're trying to keep it yeah you know, keep it going that's, a, that's just how it is i mean when you have something that means something to you and has right. intrinsic value and they start to tweak it or exactly and they make it out to be something that maybe you don't necessarily agree with it can't strike a chord so i understand that but you know you also have to look at it from a big picture perspective and I, then I Splash, like Splash said Puma is more about the culture than any any other brand, but I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either. Um, outside of Jamaican track, um, I don't, I don't, I don't see Puma being a player at all. Honestly, uh, I think if any any brand was more in tune with the culture, it would be brands like Asics and Saucony. Right. Brands like that that work with, you know, they go to runners, you know, right. And they have stores and they work with the, the common man. Puma's not out there working with the common man. You don't see collabs with the common man like you see with Asics and, and Saucony and New Balance brands like that. They're more in tune with the culture. Right. Right. And I mean, like, like Flash, Flashy Flash E said, you know, younger generation is going to have a di different outlook on shoes than we do because they're not going to have that same nostalgia. They're not going to see Jordan jump through the air and, and hit that shot on Elo. They're not going to see him, you know, do the, the switch hand shot against the Lakers in the playoffs and, and have that same feeling that we had. Um, right. They're trying to, you know, create a synthetic nostalgia right now by tying it in. But at the end of the day, it's going to be whatever's on the top. You know, these kids... They're gonna be. It, it's gonna be hard for them to to keep loyal customers. I think in the future because people their attention span changes, fads change, and I think that's. I mean, somebody could pop up out of nowhere because there's 
you know, there's more mobility within brands and, and being able to create your own thing. You know, back in the day, you how could you make your own shoe? But then you have, like, I mean, I know y'all y'all don't like, you know, Sand Viper or anything, but Stop. but he's <laughs> created his own shoe. And yeah. even though you don't even though you don't like it, I mean, and we don't No, he, he, he didn't create his own shoe, per se. Hence the reason why the video's down. But um, but I get what you know what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, he, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, something different. Yeah, you can put something um, together. You know, he what created I'm saying? his own lane. Right. You can do yeah. that now. Where we can put go together to your, this show. Go back to your hokey pokey. Yeah, you can hokey pokey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can create our. You know, you, we create the show, and you know, there's a lot of other shows too. But I mean, there's mm -hmm. that availability, and I think that that's only going to get. You're only going to see more availability come up, so it's going to be harder to, for people to keep that focus. You know, I mean, Nike's a juggernaut, but I think that they may have to split that pie if they don't stay on top of this. So, we'll beat that one to death. But I mean, hey, if I w I would love to have the conversation. Like, we get, you know, uh, who's it? Uh, Scott, uh, Scott, Co what's his name? S, what's it? S Collar, him and MJO. You know, some of the other, you know, peers, I'd like to get their perspective on it as opposed to just speaking on it and, and talking about, you know, from what I saw in, to, in their uh, in the IG, because that's my interpretation, what I'm giving you. Like, I'd like, rather hear it from them and they can be able to talk about it and we can kind of come to, you know, an agreement or an agreement to disagree. Um, but maybe sometime. I want to go back further. And I mean, like, MJ, I, I, you know, I give him respect for what he does, but... As you said, his first Jordan pickup was a Concord, so I kind of got it like, eh, on that. Go back further to guys like, like, uh, jump man. Like, does that matter though? Jump man, Clark Kent, Funkmaster Flex. But I think that you know, uh, fucking even go does back that to matter? one of the one of the dudes who first who I first saw who had a love for sneakers and who had a collection was somebody who never comes up. Uh, what's his name? Bob Babito from New York. Dude had was all about sneakers, all about you know hooping and all that kind of stuff. But you never hear his name mentioned in conversations like these. Go back to guys like that who really what started the culture, who made this a culture. Not well, think, these guys from today. I think that, I just, I, that Go ahead, my, my bad, man. No, I'm just saying, I just, I can't, you know, especially the guy who's a lot younger than me. And I don't mean no disrespect to anybody who's younger, because there's a lot of people who are younger and have knowledge. But it's saying, that kind of contradicts some of the things you said in the past. No, I mean, I'm not, that, I'm not, don't take it as I have anything against the young guys, because I don't, but you know also you the culture started before the concourse you know what i'm saying yeah, but knowledge it is knowledge and it's, it's, it really started before who... the jordans it really started before right. the jordans the culture of sneakers but babito and stretch yes it really started before the jordans i mean it started with like shell toes it started with converse and you know, and fat laces and shit like that. And people don't recognize that. Everybody wants to put it on, oh, it's starting in the 90s with Jordan. Yeah, it took off with Jordan. So you got to go back. And you can't just be... I know I was a fan of one silhouette. I mean, of one shoe. That was the Jordan. But I knew about other shoes. Regardless of the... You know, people may look at me and be like, this dude don't know shit. I really do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's not... That's not my duty to come and speak on history and when shoes drop and stuff like right. that. I just tell you my passion and my love for it. That's it's my story, not history. It's my story. You know what I'm saying? But you got to look at stuff outside of one category of shoes. Period. I agree, but I think that with this one, it's it's specifically it, it's about specific to Jordans because nobody else has the nickname issues or you know you don't have like the purest because Jordans are the only things that really keep coming back out over and over again. So I think that, I mean, I think that you have a few different people kind of sprinkled in there because I like to have some newer people in there too so they can have, you know, I, mean, I agree. so they can put in, you know, they can interject what what brings them into it. If it's not Jordan playing, what makes you like them? I mean, and it's fine. If, some, if you like them because it's popular and other people, you know, like them, that's fine with me because that's how styles go. Like you didn't, you didn't, you don't have a pair of skinny jeans with a tapered bottom because only you like them. You have them because somebody liked them and created a bunch of them for other people to like them and they're buying them too. True. So. And Skinner, you're right. British Knights. British Knights was the shit back in the day. It's, it's so many shoes a part of the culture that we right. just don't 
we don't look at, you know? So, I mean, I understand that's outside of the whole Jordan topic and the nicknames and things like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, there's history around all these shoes and we can't, you know, just throw all our emotions into the name of it. Tell, tell your story, tell the story of the shoe. Right. You don't have to be sentimental about what it's called. I mean, it's a Jordan four at the end of the day. That's what it is. Right. Right. And British, I had a pair of, uh, I had a couple of pairs of British Knights, but uh, I had the hammer ambassadors back in the mm. day. Those things sucked. Um, Let's go into topic number two, and I'm going to pass this one to Ma. This is about uh, <laughs> Nike secretly applies for Crypto Kicks trademark. Yeah, so last week Nike applied for a patent in Crypto Kicks. Uh, it's not necessarily clear what the intentions were, uh, but there is an article that goes into a little bit of speculation, which is ultimately what we're going to do is you know, kind of talk around the horn. What could this be for? Are they going to try to have their own form of payment is this going to be like a reward system uh where you can get like a token or something like that and, and maybe this is the way in which you can get certain rsvps like uh, i think they have something like 30 days from when they filed to show some form of application to it as opposed to just taking the name or what have you but uh i think it's interesting and something that you know i've thought about uh in a much smaller scale so I'm interested to see how it's going to be implemented overall. Yeah, I, I think, um, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless, but I think that they missed the bar. Like we talked about in the chat, they should have called it a uh, crypto Nike. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, you know, crypto. Uh-huh. I think that would have been dope because it still gives you the crypto. And I mean, is it, you know, some type of cryptocurrency, which you know, I don't know anything about any of that. Or is it like a play on, you know, hey, this is crypto. This is worth money. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, here's our rewards program and, you know, you order this amount, then you get this in the crypto. And then maybe if you get enough in the crypto, then you get access to a pair of shoes that not many people have, or you could build your crypto. The document definitely describes a plan of like digital currency or a token. Um, so in addition to that, they have mentioned of crypto wallets, um, downloadable mobile applications for providing access to the crypto, crypto art other application for tokens, things of that nature. So they're going to build out some specific marketplace. It has to do with a digital currency, uh, how that will be implemented and whether or not, you know, that takes away from traditional forms of payment, um, you know, to be determined Hey, you might be buying kicks with, uh, with, with cryptos that, that might be the new wave. Yeah, like Skinner just said, uh, paying Bitcoin. So you, uh, so you can't get your money back. I mean, and, and what, mm-hmm. what if you what if you pay in Bitcoin when it's or you know say if it's crypto but it's similar to Bitcoin? What if you pay at it when mm-hmm. it's low, and then you take right. the shoe back and it's up high again? Like, do they only give you what you paid for, or do they give you that that you know what I'm saying? Do they that token right? Yeah, do they do they translate it to U.S. dollars at that point, or do they give you? Hey, no, no, y'all, yeah, y'all talking over my head. I don't <laughs> have to use so I, hey, all I don't this know. shit. I don't know. As long much. as I can pull out my MasterCard, hey, <laughs> see, I'm talking to my head with this shit. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not sure on you know what they'll do with that, or if they just did it because they thought it was a cool name. But I'm gonna go ahead and trademark Crypto Nike, and then just be like, hey, I'm holding it just in case they want it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to mascots for my, uh, you know. Who cares? <laughs> you got one too, don't you? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> you okay. use it, Help him out. And Point Dexter, that. quit DMing us and shit while we're doing a damn live show. Watch the show. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. I just see a damn big DM on him talking about the Houston and the LeBron three. Wait till the show is over with. <laughs> Talk okay. about the Houston. All right. Oh, wait, did they come out? They dropped. Uh, yeah, you being bad if that's what he told you. <laughs> something about it's only. It's only dropping uh, on SNS, and he don't see a draw for it, so oh, I don't know. It's coming out on uh, sneakers, I think. They had a picture of it on sneakers, like back when they first dropped the oh, uh, right. Christ the King. I ain't been on sneakers. Oh, they got damn! They got these uh, the golf cleats. The only the lowest they have, or the biggest they have, is ten and a half. The Jordan Three, and the pair of golf cleats. Where? <laughs> on uh, sneakers. 
Three. We ain't supposed to be shopping. We have a show to do. Y'all, yeah, y'all working point next. Hey, hey, man, you know, you started. Squirrel. <laughs> All right. Um, My damn phone just keep wait. flashing. I just see this big Give ass point, link. Dexter. Right. Oh, it's the green glows. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Want those. True. On to the next. <laughs> All right. So let's get into uh, topic number three, and that is a recap of uh, Keep It a Buck. Basically, last week we did a side show uh, with myself and um, sneaker files and heads ain't ready and we talked about the responsibilities to um, media outlets when it comes to rumors and um, you know when shoes are coming out and things like that and uh, John heads ain't ready you know he's a journalist so he was looking at the I guess basically the integrity of these outlets that are dropping these rumors and saying you know hey in my field we can't just go out and say hey the breads are coming out um black friday they're gonna be a bunch of them and you know whatever and then the next day hey oops they're not coming out again you know retraction (laughs) and you know my thoughts on it were that you know hey i enjoy the rumors i'm not gonna sell my shoes based on a rumor though i mean i did Hmm. i did let go of one of my uh infrared sixes once I heard the um, these infrared sixes were coming out, but you know, like I think that I'd waited until I knew for sure. Um, but like, what do you got? What did you got? Did you guys get a chance to check it out, or what do you guys think about? I caught, I caught some of it. Yeah, um, it just is what it is. Y- yeah, that is definitely the culture that we're in right now, as it pertains to sneaker news everything is predicated off leaks and rumors so if you want to get early looks on certain shoes and things of that nature then it's just you know something that comes with the territory you're not going to be able to filter or, or weed that out um that's it's just that's how it is right so you see some of these early leaks in china and we talked about like the uh what's that that uh that factory ellen factory oh, yeah. or, five or whatever where it is right clap where <laughs> it, well right where you know they're basically getting a look of the shoe that nike wants to produce before you know anyone even has an opportunity to take a look at it you know that photo pops up that's the placeholder for a soul collector and every other media outlet and it isn't until it gets closer into the actual release date and, and they hit the server for nike do we get a, an idea of what the shoe actually looks like but six months nine months beforehand we knew what was coming out you know because some reseller or somebody some thief in a factory took a picture i mean it's good and bad right you get to say all right well i know this is going to be coming out around this time i I have an idea of what's going to be releasing um so i don't know i I get where you'd want to see a little bit more responsibility like oh yeah the og brides are coming out Yeah. You know, and I know that was a big, you know, topic of conversation, but, you know, someone else took it upon themselves to find a photo, interpret what they, what they heard and put it out there. Right. Uh, and then someone else reposted that and, and everyone took it around because nobody does the legwork, you know, they don't do the research. It's just screenshot, repost, screenshot, repost. Right. And, uh, my, and that my... doesn't go ahead. I was going to say, that doesn't fall on the original person because that photo could just be clickbait. And right. I think this was us as well. Like, no one's reading what the actual context, context. Is, is. Exactly. So if the photo is there to draw attention, which is typically how news media works, right? Tonight at 7, blah, 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 right? But then you hear it and you figure out what the actual, you know, story is. Well, OG Bread coming out. Here's a picture of, of the old cup. Well, if you read the story, does it ever say that? No. It's up to us as as viewers is you know to to actually read what's going on so not just a screenshot a repost All right and then skinner skinner I, just I, said unfortunately these days you can throw any random shit out there and it could be wrong and it's accepted it's all about who gets it out there the fastest these days and i i agree with that but the, the problem i think that that you have when, when you say something like like if you read his article and he put he put sneaker files in it, and that's why sneaker files wanted to come on there brian wanted to come on there and talk and you know it, it almost makes it look like he's running something fraudulent where i think that mm-hmm. honestly sneaker files is more right than wrong and if 
if I was going to look and I was going to, you know, put money on something that was going to come out, I'd probably put money on Brian before I did some of these other people. <laughs> I'm not saying that other people ain't, you know, there's not gonna, mm-hmm. there might not be other people that are right, but you know, that's who I go. Him and Pino would be the people I go to. I mean, of course, DJ Folk, because I think a lot of their information comes from him. But but outside of that, you know, I don't know. This, this, um, this is another one of those topics that I, I just feel like people just put way too much into it. I mean, because just like any other culture, pop culture, there's rumors and there's things that people put out there that never come to fruition. It's going to be the same thing with shoes. And it's been like that with sneakers since they started retro Jordan, retro on Jordans, people have said, oh, the Cherry 12s are gonna come out. Oh, this is gonna drop. That's a part of the culture. And it's, it's also what makes it exciting. It's also helps Nike and any other brand gauge. Okay, this shoe, you know, we can put this shoe out there, put a picture of it or whatever, leak it and see what the hype is around it. If there's great hype, we'll put it out. If there's not, we won't. I mean, I don't see any problem with the rumors. I, I, I have no issue with that. It's, it's shoes. I mean, at the end of the day, we're not talking about somebody's life. We're not talking about, you know, any anything serious. It's a pair of shoes. If they come out, great, we'll get them. If they don't come out, that's even great as well. I mean, it's you can get something else. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just too many emphasis put on small things in this culture. And that's, that's where we're hurting the culture because everybody has these beliefs and feelings and this and that. Just enjoy the shoes. And enjoy what we have. If they, you know, whatever shoes they give us, enjoy it. Go get them, put them on your feet, walk around them, take pictures, and put them on Instagram. Whatever the fuck you do with your shoes, eat cereal out of them up if you want. That's what you want to do. <laughs> whatever, it's your shoes. Enjoy right, right. having the opportunity to buy a pair of shoes that you like. And if you can't get them, go back and buy a previous version of them or whatever the case may be. But stop putting so much seriousness and emphasis on what's going on with shoes right. so what it's room there's rumors about everything i mean hell there's rumors about me that i hear every fucking day <laughs> I, I keep on moving true i want to read uh soul game proper said uh if you go to school to be a doctor and then anyone can be a doctor there's no responsibility i'd be salty too now i i think that what it is is that the, uh, this apples and oranges when it comes to you know a uh, uh, traditional journalist to um somebody that reports on sneakers because they don't have the person that reports on sneakers doesn't have that control that someone that's going to report something that that happened already so it's more like you want to compare um a sneaker reporter to a weather reporter where you have you know an idea that something's going to happen but quite possibly it might not happen we might have a hurricane hit this side of florida but oops something happened and it hit the other side of florida you know what i'm saying like so it, it it's all how you look at it. We we have, we have this YouTube show, and there's many other YouTube shows similar to what we do. And let's say, you know, Pino sent us a picture of the uh, of the Bread One, you know, with a release date on it. You know, of course, the first thing we're going to do is say, we want to be the first people to put this out. You know, we're not going to go back and research. Well, let me, you know, let me make some phone calls and see if this happens. Fuck that. We're going to put that out there and try to gain the attention before anybody else does anybody's gonna do that if you if you're trying to build a brand whether it be a right. blog whether it be youtube whether it be a podcast whatever it is that you're doing you want to be the first to report something if it comes out and it doesn't happen i mean what, well, what that's happens why the language is used according to rumored this you know what i mean allegedly there's ways that you say things to reduce your liability because if you're doing nothing but putting out you know fake news then you're no longer reliable so people don't care if it's first it's not true you're just going to get a rumor that it's not true so i think every, how you every, put it out no it makes a difference but like every, every websites site, i don't go to because i don't i don't trust their content like but every every site has put out rumors that they didn't know i mean there's not one site out there that has not said you know this shoe may be coming out every every site has done it right, it's not they one. all run the same stuff but we've done it, it from stuff says, that we've heard from it Right, and it all says, rumored, provided by, et cetera, et cetera. But the, here's the they thing, can't. though. People see a picture, and they automatically assume anyway, and they start drawing their old narrative. I mean, who didn't see something like this? You saw the one that uh, was a Ijapino, Ijapano put on there with the, uh, 
with the oh right the, the one that I posted one. with the Brett Forrest with the sushi yeah. yeah well I mean and and people were like you know people were emotional about that shit <laughs> like bro all he did was right. this he took the right sushi off just, of the sushi on it I know people were like oh is that coming out I said no it's, yeah. But like, people are like probably like, man, I want them fours with the swoosh on them, or I hate them for. I can't believe Jordan's doing that, or they, you know. Come on, man. I don't think and where it's, it's not, it's not building. But a brand you can't alive. sit I mean, there and 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 minimize like everything involved with shoes. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a business involved. If it was just you know wear occasionally, do this, do that. Like it wouldn't be the hype machine that it is. It wouldn't be the generator that it is. So like the rumors build the hype though. The, the rumors build the hype machine. That's that's part of it. You you have well, to right. have that to build the hype. That's I, my point. Bro. Like you're saying, oh, it's just shoes. If they don't come out, they don't come out. Get something else. Oh, they're just shoes. You just wear them. It don't matter. Like eh, the fact that it does matter is why it's a profitable business. If it didn't matter, there wouldn't be resellers. If it didn't I mean, matter, yeah, then from, 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 there wouldn't from be that, ads. If it didn't matter, it wouldn't be on the show. <laughs> From we'll that aspect, talking about I mean, it if right. it didn't matter. From that aspect of it, you're right. But I mean, at the end of the day, to to get, I mean, I've seen people. I mean, what's what's the guy named Heads Ain't Ready? I yeah. mean, it just seemed like he was just really just like serious about where he was coming from with it. And I'm just like, to me, you know, and I've been doing this again longer than all these guys. To me, and I mean, these are just my feelings. I'm not trying to put my shit on nobody else. To me, it doesn't matter. And like I said, I can go all the way back to Nike Talk. There was rumors every day about a shoe that was going to drop on Nike Talk. And that's just what, what we saw and what we dealt with. And if it dropped, it did. If it didn't, it, it didn't drop. But it's, it's to me, it's just not that serious. It's not and back going back to what Word said. It's not building a brand on lies. I mean, if you're coming out saying, hey, this is rumored to drop, it's rumored. That's not a lie. A lie would be just like, right. this shoe is going to drop on December the 1st in, in this colorway or whatever. Then it then it becomes a lie, right? But when you're letting people know, you know, this is rumored or this is what we heard, you know, or what have you, that's not a lie. So it's, it's two completely right. different things. And well, I think again, part of it comes from not reading. You know, well, yeah. the picture was used as clickbait to <laughs> well, have conversation and hope you in hopes that you click the link and then you can see all the details behind it. Well, he initially, I mean, just he initially thought it was going to come out though. Right. Well, he got he got excited probably, and right. struck a chord. We we every everybody is you know I keep seeing people say where is Pino? We all we all trusted Pino. We all went to him. It was times Pino would come to us with information that nobody else had. He would come to us and say, "Hey, this shoe is going to drop," and we would report it. We had no background information. We right. trusted what we heard from Pino. Pino right. loved the guy to death. He wasn't right 100% of the time. And we know that he wasn't right 100% of the time. Mm-hmm. So that's, but, but again, it's still- we're, we're not putting that out as our own proprietary information. I mean, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But yeah. I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, if someone is saying this is a rumor, then let it be that. And if you look into it any more than that, then that's on you. But if they've already let you know from jump, this right. is rumored and a lot of those leaks because we don't have a website right we don't have anywhere where people can go and read they have to listen and watch whatever the case may be right he would say let's get to such and such and i'm gonna drop you know some information so the source is there we're just a conduit right we're, we're citing but he also i think he cited somebody in he cited somebody in his uh article initially brian from uh, sneaker files and I, I think when it what it really came down to it was like you know you have your emotion he's got his emotion towards journalism i think john tried to you know kind of insert that into what we into right. our culture draw a parallel and I, and I, and it's I not that you can't do that yeah i don't think that it's not it's not there it's different um but you know like i said for the most part I don't want to remove passion from what I do, and right, 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 and emotion from shoes. You're because right. at that but point, that's why we talk what about. What am I doing it? That's, well, that's why I mean. we talk like, about it, though. So, it, it, so it's, certain it's, things it's are going to resonate. Certain things are going to. It's not about. You know, I mean, and I, and I and I get that. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm passionate about the culture, but at the same time, you know, a lot of things I just think are taken way too seriously, way too deep when it comes to the culture. I really do. Right. And we, you know, we and, don't go through ways. 
It's it, it, right? There are times it, where it you I miss too. and I don't care, and there are times where I miss and I like I want to throw a tantrum. I want to throw shit. Like right. I'm mad. I'm angry. <laughs> like you can't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we so, know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just is where everyone has their thing, and like I'm not gonna fault someone if they're passionate about journalism. Right. If they felt something that's important to them is it done right. Uh, but in a but sneaker also... sneaker journalism is completely different from watching CNN. I mean, it's it's two different things, and you can't you can't compare the two. I mean, you can't compare MTV and CNN. It's two completely different. But I mean, things. you you got CNN, you, know? you got Fox News. Which one's right? so exactly i mean and, and that's my whole point i mean a, a lot of journalism is not based on truth but you know because we see it on the news we're we're more apt to believe that it's true and it's not always the case it's their version of the news that they're giving you it's not the version it's their version and it's the same thing with these sites it's their version of of what they see or the rumors or what have you it's their version it's up to you to take it you know for what it is Danny made a good point earlier. She said, you know, like the weather reporters. I mean, shit, do, do we hold them responsible for telling you that it's going to be sunny t- all day tomorrow and then it's still storming in the middle of the fucking day? Do we hold them responsible for that shit? No. Right. So, it's this shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, anybody else, uh, anything else on this? We can shut it down. Let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, the hashtag hero. This is the hashtag hero sponsored by Container Store, 8-9 Manufacturing Company, and then Mike's with his big old head uh, unbox app. Um, <laughs> we'll do our goodbyes from this screen and then in the outro, will be the uh the hashtag heroes so um i'd still i would like to do something i don't know let me figure something out after the show um but we do have our hashtag here who wants to uh say farewells first well ma why don't you go first i'm trying to find sure why not uh usual suspects appreciate you man hour went by super quick um 30 likes, appreciate it. One thumbs down, we're doing better. If uh, you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. And if you have suggestions, some feedback on the show, how we should do the giveaway, whatever the case may be, we're always open uh, to dialogue and feedback. You can either drop a comment in the video, drop a comment on the IG, uh, send us a DM, whatever the case may be. But I uh, appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, I will probably see some of y'all uh, this weekend. So should be dope. Word up. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you guys for being on the show. Hey, Point Dexter. Appreciate Here. you, bro. Um, the $20 a dono. Um, you could have used that $20 to go towards my uh, Houston Oil of Threes. <laughs> you know, stop it. <laughs> uh, I appreciate I appreciate uh, you guys on the show. I appreciate uh, everybody watching the show and partaking in the uh, in the chat here. Um definitely appreciate that and i mean at the end of the day um you know we talk about emotions and things like that but we all are emotional about something that's why we're in this culture um you know when i tried or when i talk about you know when i talk about mjo uh basically what i was just trying to say was like i was trying to get a perspective to validate what it meant in my mind and it doesn't have to do that but i want to understand where he's coming from you know what I'm saying? Because for me, it's just like, bro, like it's just, a, it's a name, it's a nickname, but I want to know what it feels like for him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't, I'm not downplaying, you know, anybody that gets upset about anything. You know, some of the stuff is it, it, stupid, you know, it's Nike's ruining the culture, whatever. But, um, you know, take, take that with a, a grain of salt. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, shout out our shout outers. A uh, shout out to E Nice Kicks, KB Fresh Kicks, Retro Boomin Six. Oh, and congratulations on 10K. Uh, Matza, D-Lo, 10, 14. Dominican Koki, sincerely yours. Big Boy Sneaks, 43. Sha Fitness, Shalako. Hmm. Shalako. <laughs> Shalako, my bad. Uh, Ben Arios, Uncle Ben, 
KY Souls Mike. And 313 Retro Queen. I don't think I forgot anybody. Uh, wait. Uh, J Soul, he did. Uh, if you put music on it, I can't re put it out there. So I know he put music on it. And if you did, uh, hit me up and I'll, I'll get you on the next one. Uh, but thank y'all. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Um, and uh, Marcus. Uh, shout out to you guys. Love coming on doing this every Monday. Although I will not be here next Monday. I will be on vacation for my annual birthday trip. So uh, I won't yeah, be here next older. week. I get older and I get better. <laughs> get older and get better. Shout out to the chat. Usual suspects. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with us. And just real brief, I, I, I don't want to ever make it seem like, you know, your passion for this culture is a bad thing because it's not. That's not where I'm going with it. I just want this to become fun again like it used to be. It's not fun like it used to be. It has its fun moments. It has its fun times. But in general, on a whole, it's just not fun anymore. You know, let's go back to the, the beginning with the Nike Talk Day before IG where we all show love to each other and, and things like that. Let's get back to that. You know what I'm saying? So that's my whole thing about it. Just, just show love and appreciation and affection for everything and everybody and just take the negativity away from it. That's all I want to do. With that being said, I'll see y'all in two weeks. The rest of everybody else will be back next week. Peace. Peace. Thank you for supporting the Monday Mix. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next Monday. Peace.